The life of an entrepreneur can be crazy, especially when you're wearing many different hats within your business. So what apps can you use to help you stay organized in your life and in your business? Well, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down for you seven of my favorite apps that I use on a daily basis. Let me know in the comments below this video what your favorite app is to use in your business. And make sure you stay until the end of this video because I'm going to show you one more tool that I use to link all of these different apps together to make some automation in my business to save me tons of time. My name is Melissa Mitchell, the owner of Wander Me Creative, a video marketing agency and coaching business that helps entrepreneurs create impact and profit online by creating organic lead generation systems using video and social media. If that sounds like your jam, make sure to click the link below to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on more weekly videos. Now, all of these apps that I'm about to talk about have both desktop versions and web versions, as well as apps for your phone, which makes it really convenient because no matter where you are, you have access to all of this information. So even if you're out and about running errands or you're on vacation and you don't wanna bring a bunch of files with you, you still have access to everything to run your business electronically on your phone and computer. The first one that I wanna talk about is Google Calendar. Now, this is a big one. This is how I make sure that I have enough time in the day to get all of the tasks tasks done in my business, as well as make sure I have time to do my personal things like hang out with friends, make dinner, run errands, and all that kind of stuff that we need to do on a regular basis. It's really important that you have a space that holds all of these appointments and for you to block out certain times so that it can't be used up in other things. That way when someone asks to book an appointment with you or your family wants to book a vacation, you're able to go to your one calendar and see what time you have off or what gaps of time you could use for other things. Personally, I really like to use time blocking within my schedule. This makes the most sense for me and makes sure that I'm getting everything done when it needs to get done without me having to sacrifice time with my friends or vacation or time with my family. Now, make sure you hit that subscribe button below this video and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on next week's video where I'm actually going to go in more depth on how I specifically time block my calendar and create different CEO days and content creation days to make sure that I'm batching things to get things done quicker. Now, the next app that I use is Acuity, and Acuity is an online scheduler, which actually links with your calendar to make sure that people book appointments with you on time slots that you have available on your calendar. Not only is this a great way to stay organized when it comes to booking appointments with your clients or booking appointments with other colleagues, but it's also a great way to reduce the amount of time spent with the back and forth of trying to create a meeting. We have probably all been there before where you're sending multiple emails back and forth to each other, trying to figure out what time on your calendar might work. You might say Friday at two and four, and then the next person comes back and says, you know, Monday at two and six or something like that, right? And it just creates so much back and forth and so much disorganization when it could be really simple and you could just send them a link through Acuity to your calendar for them to book a spot on your calendar that's already open. The other thing I really like about this is that it actually gives you control over your schedule. You can create specific blocks of time that you want to accept client appointments or that you want to have meetings with your employees so that you're not booking appointments every single day and having to rearrange your schedule. The other thing I really like about Acuity is that you can set up different meeting types for different kinds of appointments. So for example, I have appointment types for my coaching clients and then I have appointment types for my monthly um, reoccurring clients where we need to talk about their business. And then I have appointment types for lead generation, for sales calls. And that way I'm able to control on which days each of those types of appointments gets booked so that I'm mentally able to prepare for those calls ahead of time. If this sounds really interesting to you and you would like a full tutorial on how I use Acuity and how I set it up in my business, let me know in the comments below and I would be happy to create that for you on this channel. Next up is Asana. And I've talked about Asana many times before on this channel. It's what I use for my project management tool. It's basically the hub of my business and how I stay organized when it comes to the tasks I need to do within my business, any client work that needs to get done, or any big planning or goal-oriented projects that are coming in the future. Now, I have a lot more videos talking all about Asana here on this channel, so I'll make sure to link them in the YouTube cards above here for you to check them out. 
Next is Slack, and Slack is an instant messaging app. It's perfect for internal communications with your clients, your team members, or any other contractors that you might have. Think of Slack like old time MSN Messenger or like Facebook Messenger, but kind of on steroids. You can actually have different threads with different people and keep things organized within your teams. I personally use Slack as a way to communicate really quickly with different contractors on my team to make sure that we are on the same page when it comes to a question that they might have or a certain thing that I need them to get done right in the moment that might not be assigned to a task within Asana. Now, I know a lot of people that also use Slack for one-on-one -on -one communication with their clients as well, or with coaching clients, and this is definitely a great option for you that can take your communication outside of something like email, and it's definitely something I've considered implementing in my business as well. Now, the other option for instant communication is Voxer, and it's another one of my new favorite apps that I've been recently using more in my business. Now, Voxer is really similar to Slack. The only difference is that it's a voice messaging app. So you can actually send voice notes to each other really quickly without having to type out a whole form of communication. This makes it a lot easier and faster to communicate points to different clients or different team members without, again, having to write out your whole thought process. This is something that I've started to utilize a lot more with my coaching clients and I'm going to expand and use it a lot more within my business. Next is Evernote. Evernote is an online notebook that helps you collect notes, scan different documents, attach things, basically just a hub to collect all of your thoughts. I have been using this tool for quite a while now and I've tried so many different other online notebooks, but I keep going back to Evernote just because of the simplicity of it and I love that it's super easy to store things and to search for old notes within the app. I use this to hold all of my client notes, any strategy notes that I have, or any like ongoing weekly notes that I make to myself. And I also attach different notes that I've handwritten in my notebook. Now I'm still very much a paper to pen kind of person. I really prefer handwriting my notes, but I love the ability that Evernote lets you scan that image and then place it within Evernote in a notebook so that everything is in one place. Finally, the last tool that I wanted to mention is Google Drive. And this is again, one of the most important tools within my business. This is my cloud storage where I hold absolutely everything related to my business and the client work that I do. I love that it can sync to all of my different devices and that I'm able to save files so that I can work offline if needed. Now, a Google Drive is part of the Google Suite, which includes things like your Gmail, your Google Sheets, your Google Docs, and all of those other sorts of things. So it really is kind of an all encompassing tool, I guess is Google Suite, but in particular, Google Drive is really, really, again, that and Asana are really the hubs of my business that basically everything runs through. So they are super, super important tools. So now that you know my seven favorite tools that I use to run my business, I would love to know what some of your favorite tools are. So let me know in the comments below. And finally, how do all of these things work together? That's the last bonus tip that I promised you if you stayed till the end of this video. So here it is. This is automation at its finest, and this is the best way for you to sync all of your tools together so that you can save time and things work automatically behind the scenes without you having to physically do the task. This tool is called Zapier, and Zapier is actually a um, cloud-based program, so it is on the internet. <laughs> and what it does is it basically syncs thousands of different tools together. So for example, you could sync your Google Calendar with Acuity, so that when someone makes an appointment on Acuity, it automatically blocks that time off on your Google Calendar. Now, if you do have the paid version of Acuity, this does this automatically anyways, but that's just an example. Another great example would be I have a zap setup, which is what they're called when you create that connection. I have a zap setup that every time someone books a strategy call with me or a sales call with me, they actually creates a note inside of Evernote so that I can take the strategy call notes within Evernote. That just keeps me from one, remembering that I need to take notes and two, it's keeping everything in one place without me having to mentally remember to do that little task. So there are so many different options available to you when it comes to automation with this tool. So I would really recommend sitting down and thinking out your workflows and thinking about what needs to happen at each step so you can set up these little automations to save you time. Again, if you're looking for more information on how to organize your calendar and time blocking, make sure you hit that notification bell below so that you don't miss out on next week's video where I go into more detail on that. 
And if you're looking for even more tools to help you scale and grow your business, make sure you hit the link below to download my free marketing resource guide. Inside, you're going to find all of the tools and all of the different equipment that I use to run my business and that I recommend to my clients. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it on your social media so that other people can benefit from this content. Thanks so much and we'll catch you next week. Think of Slack like olden days MSN Messenger. And if you're too young to know what that is, then I don't know what to tell you. No, I'm just kidding. Um, 